the inside of the ship and her laying down. Okay? If you don't believe me, go look right now. Pause the video, go and look. Okay? Now, moving on to other things. White scholars also say that the face on moon on the moon. Uh, the on, on Mars, excuse me. With the face of a black man. Alright? The face of a black man. They also say there's pyramids on Mars. Okay? Pyramids with coffins. Sarcophagus. One of them was a black man. Okay? They found a black man on the moon. In a pyramid. If you really do the research, you black folks really do the research, you'll find out how special we are. We not some ignorant ass people, dumb, ignorant, uneducated, good for nothing people. That's bullshit, okay? It's bullshit. If you know the history, you do the research, we are not dumb people. We're not dumb people. We just have an amnesia. That's what we have. Kings and queens with amnesia. And need to wake up. That's why I make these videos. A lot of you black folks to wake the fuck up. Because there's a big problem. We, there's there's many problems, but there's there's bigger problems, okay. And right now is not the time to be sleep. Not the time to be sleep at all. And the thing about the Anunnaki, okay, what makes this? I already broke it down in the last video, so I'm not gonna go and break it down in this video, okay. Another thing to read is the Epic of Gilgamesh. You want to know some of your history. You can't expect the white scholars to teach you your history. They might tell you a little bit. But it's up to you to get the rest. Okay? Read the ep Epic of Gilgamesh. Alright? I'm going to tell you firsthand that life, we, we can have eternal life right here. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why we can have eternal life right here. Eternal life was granted to Uthman the fish, okay? In the book of Gilgamesh. The Anunnaki gave Uthman the fish eternal life, okay? Meaning that he won't expire. He won't die from old age or anything like that. That's still possible, okay? Our bodies, the reason why we die. See, this is one of the biggest fucking enigmas on the planet, if not the biggest. Why do we die? It don't have shit to do with no sin, okay? Unless you translate sin as DNA, then yes. It has a lot to do with our DNA. It don't have shit to do with being good or bad. It has a lot, everything to do with DNA. If you look behind me, okay? Look behind me, what do you see? You see computers, right? The computers ain't shit, okay? Without the software. And the software needs to be updated. If it don't be updated, the computers won't be running up the par. There will be crashes, okay? And, and and other things. There will be lots of glitches. Things won't run right without a software update. No different than our DNA. DNA needs to be updated, okay? If you go and look at the skulls, and a lot of, you can look at some, some of the oldest skulls and they still have their teeth in them, okay? If you die from old age these days, you ain't gonna have no teeth in your mouth, okay? Because they're gonna be all rotted out. You see what I'm saying? If they're not rotted out, you're gonna have them pulled out. 
because they'll be on their way out. All right. There's old saying, if you don't take care of your teeth, they'll take care of themselves. And that's true. All right. That's very much so true. Really and truly, the update needs to be we grow more teeth. Okay? We grow more teeth. Just like sharks. A shark grow teeth throughout its entire lifespan. Because it's constantly breaking teeth by biting into things. Okay? They have rows and rows of teeth that constantly update themselves. We don't even have that. A tree. A tree. Your average tree lives longer than us. And that's just a damn tree. Okay? A tree don't speak. A tree, a tree is not intelligent like us. But we in the ground, we, we dead before the tree. A tree can live hundreds of years. But these days, we don't. Okay? And the Bible is when it says the gift of God is the etern is eternal life. That's true. The gift of the Anunnaki, the gods, okay? Because God, what, the, the, the one God you believe in the Bible is many, okay? It's a group of people. It's the council, all right? Like I said, like the body of Congress. Congress is one, okay? But it's many that make up Congress or any kind of committee or council or whatever. You call it a council, but it's made of one people. I mean, uh, several people. Several people make up that one council. So in the, in the Bibles, God is a council of people. All right? Head, the head, the, the CEO of that council, the head person is Anu. All right? I explained this before. And the gift of the God or gods is eternal life. And that's through updating your DNA. Okay? So you can live for a long time. That don't mean you can't be killed. That don't mean you can't be stabbed or shot or chewed up by some wild animal. What it does mean is that your DNA will repair itself. It will update like it's supposed to. Right now we have a cap on our DNA. We can't we don't even have the code to access it, alright? And you only use so much of your DNA. The rest is is labeled as by white scholars as being junk DNA. Because they don't understand it. Okay? They don't understand it. You take some monkeys, okay? Take, take some regular apes and you put some zeros and ones in front of them, okay? It'll look all gibberish. But those zeros and ones are information that can only be interpreted through what's behind me, which is a computer, okay? So they just label it and say, fuck it, it's just junk DNA because we don't understand it. It ain't no damn junk DNA. Just because your ass don't understand it don't mean that it's junk. Alright? And moving on to, 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 to this whole thing about government. I don't have a problem with government. I really, really don't. Okay? Because people, that's what people think they should have. And if we all have free will. Most of us anyway. If you want government, that's fine. If I don't want it, let me have that right. I don't need no damn government. I don't. Because man existed long before there was a government. Let me ask you a question for those of you who think we should have government. Who governs the universe? No man does. Who governs the sun? The sun don't need no fucking government. The sun will... will, will, will shine on its own okay it can't be controlled it's so damn big it can't be controlled and don't fuck with nobody don't nobody fuck with the sun leave the sun alone let it do its thing it's just fine but man go fucking with the sun 
the sun will have a short lifespan, okay? And they'll have problems. But the sun existed for billions of years. If man don't go try to govern the damn sun, it'll still be here. Plain and simple, it's not hard to see. Leave the sun alone. The sun will be just fine. The sun don't need a governor, okay, to govern it. Just like we don't need a governor to govern us, okay? We don't need no government. If that's something that, 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 that people want, that's fine. But for, for, for those like me, we don't need none. Don't need it whatsoever. We, you, when you look at things, we the only species on this damn planet that try to control one another. You look at other species, okay? Thousands on this planet alone. Do they try to control each other? No, they don't. They might eat each other. They might even fight with one another. But they don't try to control another, okay? They don't. Live and let live. Plain and simple. Live and let live. That's how you keep balance. That's how you keep harmony. Alright? The, 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 the thing of nature on this planet is that I ain't gonna fuck with you if, if, if I'm hungry. If I'm well fed, I'm not gonna fuck with you. That's for any animal. If an animal bother you, it's because it's hungry. I'm gonna say a mammal. Because that's what we are. A mammal. Red-blooded. Have kids. Uh, live birth. Not through eggs. Okay? That's what a mammal is. Alright? A mammal will attack. Two reasons. It's hungry. Or either it's threatened. That's it. Otherwise, they don't have a reason to attack. Alright? None whatsoever. Even your your immune system, it doesn't bother, okay? It's not really active until it feels threatened by something foreign, a foreign substance. This is within you, all right? This ain't across the street or across the world. This is within you. If your immune system feels threatened, okay, and see a threat, it will build up antibodies and attack, all right? That's just an immune system. These days, it's almost wrong to defend yourself. And that's the problem. It's almost wrong to defend yourself. You're supposed to lay down for this person to govern over you, to lie to you, and to fuck over you. That's, that's not normal. Even in the animal world, that's not normal. When have you ever seen another animal lay down for an animal, an, an, another animal unless it was submitted? Okay? Submitted forcefully. We, we, we basically done gone into... Uh, we, we done forgot a lot of things, okay? We done forgot... I'm talking about both you white folks and black folks. We done forgot a lot of things. One of them was self-defense, okay? To stand up and fight. It don't necessarily mean fight with these. You fight with this, okay? And this. A lot of people don't have heart to fight no more. To go and die for what they believe in or to defend their family. Not here in the U.S. That's why we looked up on as some fucking punks, okay? Yeah, some fucking punks around the uh, uh, of other countries around the world, because they, it's it's a way of life for them to stand up and fight for what they believe in and to defend themselves. Okay, whether well, they in the right or wrong. Okay, if they believe they right, when they are wrong, they gonna fight, stand up and fight, and defend themselves. Okay, we. We are antidepressants and shit like that, okay? We don't give a shit if it don't affect us directly. 